management of subacute thyroiditis, a systematic review of current treatment protocols. This systematic review tries to find an effective treatment protocol for SAT as no treatment protocol for SAT is well defined. We have gone through relevant articles from Jan 2000 to May 2022. Now, subacute thyroiditis or SAD generally proceeds through three distinct phases the thyrotoxic phase due to release of preformed colloid, a hypothyroid phase due to lack of biosynthesis of new hormone, followed by a euthyroid phase during recovery. Some patients have permanent hypothyroidism. Materials and methods. The latest PRISMA statement was adhered to and the checklist and flow diagram are shown below. 15 articles were selected for final analysis. The inclusion exclusion criteria were original articles were included, English language articles, studies with human subjects with appropriate statistical analysis between 2000 and 2022 were included. The exclusion criteria were studies with unclear results in languages other than English and published before the year of 2000. Case reports, systematic review, literature review, letter to the editor, animal studies, lab studies were all excluded. Table 1 shows the methodological quality of selected articles according to a criteria proposed by Brink et al. Table 2 shows the level of evidence according to a criteria suggested by Tulder et al. The results. 13 studies had low quality evidence whereas the two randomized control trials had high quality evidence. Steroid therapy was found to be the most effective. Low initial doses of steroid like 15 mg were preferred over high doses. Extended tapering period of steroid to 5 mg per day has been shown to reduce the recurrence rates. Sodium ipidate and sodium eopinoate therapy were other upcoming modalities. We also suggested to explore prolena, vulgaris and colchicin therapy. Table 3 shows a list of the 15 articles that were included in our study along with the study model and the outcomes. Figure 2 shows Short-term versus six-week prednisone therapy for treating moderate to severe symptoms of SAD as done in an RCT by Duan et al. Strengths and limitations of our systematic review. The strengths were inclusion of two randomized control trials at least, recently published articles, and all the 15 studies were human studies. The limitations were only two randomized control trials were there and the others were low-quality studies, the sample size was small, and proper correction for body weight was not done. In conclusion, steroid is better at reducing acute symptoms compared to NSAIDs. Short-term steroid therapy plus salicoxib has shown to have better effects than long-term steroid therapy. Initial low-dose steroid is good and long tapering period is preferred. More large-scale double-blinded multicenter trials are needed to explore this condition.